Today we're going to put a top on this aquarium. What's going on guys? Devin with Reef Dudes. So last night I'm laying in bed, I hear this big splash, I'm like hey what the heck. Come out and look, my triggerfish jumped out of the tank. So this is a good lesson. Um, thankfully I heard it, I woke up, I caught the guy, got him back in the tank, he's swimming around and happy again. But it's just a good lesson for everybody. Every fish can and will jump. You know, it may not happen right away, especially wrasses. I got a couple of wrasses in here. Um, trigger fish, any fish, if it's spooked, something could happen, it could jump out. And by buying these animals, we are responsible for them and we need to keep them safe and in the tank. Now on my previous tank, the last tank, I made a DIY one. I used a bit of um, like a two leaf fabric kind of mesh from this craft store, which actually worked really well. Um, it's black, so it's not very noticeable. However, the only thing is if it gets wet, it, it kind of holds in that water and you get a bit of a funky smell. I had to throw it in the shower and rinse it off once in a while if it got too wet. Uh, the other thing that happens is I put um, a metal bar on this. So I found a little chunk of steel and I painted it black, but of course, over time it rusted. That's one kind of little issue I had with it. So two little things that I want to kind of change and fix on the new one. If you don't have the bar in here on a smaller tank, not a big deal on a bigger tank, it will bow inwards just from the pressure of stretching the fabric across it. For the new tank, I decided to go with a bit of a pre-made solution. And this time I picked up the D&D Aquarium's Jump Guard. So I bought the nice big long kit because I need that length for this tank. And this one does come with kind of a center bar brace, which is something that you need when you're going this big of a span and this much width to keep it from. So I believe this was the largest size kit. Um, inside this one, we got all of our clear mesh. We got our two very long posts in it. And these guys are seven, about 70, 71 inches. We got two of those. We got two 35 inches. Two, so we can do about a six feet by three foot type of tank with this kit. We got our corners. Now same with the other corners, they have these little flanges on them. Kind of like the ones I used in my previous DIY one. Now these for whatever reason are hard to find because I know a lot of people had a bit of struggle when they try to copy the previous video. One cool thing is there's a 90 on the bottom corner so you could cut that top part off if you wanted and still poke your wires through the edge of the tank. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, if you wanted it, there's these little tabs you can put in so you have little handles to open your screen top. And we also have these little kind of brackets that are for putting the brace bar. So you also got this big long brace bar so we can pop these in and it'll slide it in the spine. So I'm going to have to have one in the middle of the tank just to keep it nice and stretched. I'm not going to bother with the handles because I can just grab this and there'll be less clutter and clean the lines on the top. Now to poke it in, just take these corners and you just push it in. Now, if we take a look at the profile of this, there actually is a lip on this. Now, the lip is going to sit on the glass, and the spline material is going to go in the center of this. So, we would just slide our corners in like so. And there's that lip that's going to go all the way around and sit on the edge of our tank. Now, if you see that, there's a little plastic protecting coat of on it, so that little white is. It just protects it from getting scratched up, so we'll peel that off once we get it assembled. I probably should measure it to be exact, but I'm going to put the edge on as set on the lip, and we can figure approximately where it's going to go. So now normally the easiest way is probably to cut this on a hacksaw. I already have a miter saw, so I'm going to go that way just to make sure it's a nice perfect cut. Make sure that little flange is on the outside of it. Pop our corners in. Now we're going to test fit the one side. The build itself was actually really quick and easy. The only thing you really need on top of that would be a hacksaw or if you have a miter saw, something to just cut the aluminum rails and scissors or a razor blade to cut the mesh. Now the whole project to build this only took, I'm going to say, probably about 20 to 30 minutes all in. So it was a fairly quick process. But yeah, my, favorite, my fa absolute favorite feature is that little flange that has all the way around the perimeter. So when you put it on the tank, it recesses and sits inside that lip. So it's a very sleek looking thing. So we also got our nice center brace. Uh, it is a clear plastic mesh. I believe there's also a pro version now that comes with a black mesh, which may or may not swap to the black one day, but I actually don't mind this one. And it sits right inside the lip, and I absolutely love the look of just how it's recessed like that. So if you're going to use the top, might as well keep it classy. Now, 
I want to wish you guys a happy holidays and in the Christmas spirit, we are also giving away a jump card. So check out the rules below, click on the link and you can enter to win one of these babies.